Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Drop, the weekly show that lets you know the hottest games coming out across the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the PC, the Switch, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about them right here. This week is a massive week with Ghost of Tsushima coming to the PlayStation 4 as the console's last major exclusive before the launch of the PlayStation 5. On top of that, we have Paper Mario, the Origami King coming to the Nintendo Switch, Halo 3 is coming to PC, and so much more. So without further Further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. First off, Ghost of Tsushima is coming out exclusively on the PlayStation 4. In the late 13th century, the Mongol Empire has laid waste to entire nations along their campaign to conquer the East. Tsushima Island is all that stands between mainland Japan and a massive Mongol invasion fleet led by the ruthless and cunning general Khotun Khan. As the island burns in the wake of the first wave of the Mongol assault, samurai warrior Jin Sakai stands as one of the last surviving members of his clan. He is resolved to do whatever it takes, at any cost, to protect his people and reclaim his home. He must set aside the traditions that have shaped him as a warrior to forge a new path, the path of the ghost, and wage an unconventional war on the freedom of Tsushima. For those that might not be familiar, Ghost of Tsushima is being developed by Sucker Punch, which is famous for games like Sly Cooper and Infamous. And this is their first game since August of 2014, when Infamous First Light came out as somewhat of a standalone expansion for Infamous Second Son. All of that to say, this game has been percolating for quite some time. Depending on if you prefer action or stealth, there are various ways that you can approach each interaction in the world of Ghost of Tsushima. On top of that, if you look to a game like Neo, these stances that you see for old school combat, you can also see implemented here in Ghost of Tsushima. So if you like the complexities of a game like Neo, that is an option in Ghost of Tsushima. But it seems that the difficulty, for lack of a better term, is actually scalable in the game depending on how in-depth you want to get. If you want to have a very realistic samurai slash ninja experience, you can do that in Ghost of Tsushima. Or if you just want to kind of run around, stab people, have a good time in the world like you would in an old school Assassin's Creed game that still seems to be existent in the world of Ghost of Tsushima. No matter how you cut it, there are very interesting elements at work here in Ghost of Tsushima. I'm excited to check out the gameplay and see how people receive the game uh, because again, this is a very historically significant game. It is the last big PlayStation 4 exclusive for this entire generation. So we'll see how fans receive it when it comes out later on this week exclusively on the PlayStation 4. Next up, we have Paper Mario the Origami King coming out on the Nintendo Switch. And let me tell you, they really get into the lore here. On the description, we have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Uh, so buckle up, here we go. Here's the background information. A new paper crafted Mario adventure unfolds on Nintendo Switch. The kingdom has been ravaged by an origami menace. Join Mario and his new partner Olivia as they battle evil folded soldiers, repair the damaged landscape, and try to free Princess Peach's castle from the clutches of King Ollie in this comedy-filled adventure, only on the Nintendo Switch system. Mario and Luigi receive an invitation from Princess Peach to attend an origami festival and excitedly hurry to Toad Town. But something is amiss. After investigating the eerily empty town, the duo finds a fearsome and folded Princess Peach. She has been turned into origami by King Ollie, ruler of the origami kingdom. With five giant streamers under his control, King Ollie binds Princess Peach's castle and transports it to a distant mountain as part of his plan to refold the world. On his journey to liberate Peach's castle and repair the ravaged paper landscape, Mario meets Olivia, King Ollie's sister, and the two join forces to stop Ollie's origami onslaught. Even Bowser falls victim to Ollie's plot when his minions are turned into origami folded soldiers and betray their Koopa King, forcing him to ally with Mario and Olivia. Battle the folded soldiers in ring-based battles that challenge you to strategically line up enemies to maximize damage. Out of battle, Mario can use the arm extending 1000 fold arms ability in specific spots to interact with the landscape to pull, peel, hit, and more. Join Mario, Olivia, and their companions on a journey of laughter and emotion, thrills, and a whole lot of folding. This is a Paper Mario game, which means it's not going to be your standard 2D or 3D platformer. This is going to be more of a turn-based strategy game with some light puzzle solving thrown in as well. Uh, from what I can see from the combat, essentially when it comes to an engagement, uh, you have 
have a variety of weapons with different elements with different perks uh, and you pair those with each specific interaction that you have so if you have four Goombas grouped together closely you'll use the hammer to swing down and smash them if you have one line of Goombas lined up then you can of course use a different weapon uh, that is more ranged so that's the style of gameplay you are going to be getting and then you have this nice 3d effect when it comes to exploring the world and seeing where you can go in the search for Peach's Castle and of course King Ollie this is one of the more I suppose experimental games on the Nintendo switch when it comes to the Mario franchise which is of course very welcome if every game was a platformer what fun would that be in the same way that Mario Party brings something new Paper Mario brings in a different style of gameplay so if you want to check it out this week it is coming out on the Nintendo switch exclusively next up Halo 3 is coming to PC Halo 3 comes to PC as the next installment in Halo the Master Chief Collection. Now optimized for PC, witness the Master Chief's return to finish the fight between the Covenant, the Flood, and the entire human race in this dramatic pulse-pounding conclusion of the original Halo trilogy. With the fate of the galaxy hanging in the balance, the Master Chief returns to uncover an ancient secret hidden beneath the sands of Africa, which could hold the key to humanity's salvation or destruction, an object that could change the tide of the human Covenant conflict. And now some features. PC settings and optimizations. Halo 3 is now optimized for PC and looking better than ever at up to 4K Ultra HD and at 60 plus FPS. Other PC native settings include customizable mouse and keyboard support, ultra wide support, FOV customization, and more. Of course, the game itself. Campaign. Experience the next chapter in the Halo saga and fight your way through 11 unforgettable missions. Multiplayer. Continue your Halo adventure with 24 multiplayer maps from the iconic Halo 3, featuring a completely updated progression system in Halo The Master Chief Collection. And Forge and Theater. Create new ways to play with the iconic Forge tool and utilize the theater to capture and share your favorite moments with the community. Halo 3 is a very important game. It is essentially one of the best games of the aughts. It came out in 2007 alongside games like Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and still brought in a massive player base. And to this day, many people believe that Halo 3 is the best in the series. Uh, personally, I still lean more towards Halo 2, but Halo 3 is just a phenomenal experience. And now this week it is coming to PC with all of the modern features and amenities you would expect. Uh, now it is important to mention that Halo the Master Chief Collection has been having a gradual rollout on PC since roughly January with Halo ODST, then you had Halo 1, Halo 2, now we get 3, and 4 is to come at some point in the future, which is for many uh, the least favorite behind Halo 5 Guardians, uh, and then somewhere around there we'll have Halo Infinite, who knows where that'll land. We'll see. Uh, but regardless, Halo 3 is launching on PC this week with tons of new bells and whistles if you do want to check it out. If you already have the Master Chief Collection, it is going to be a free update on top of that. If you do want to buy it a la carte, it is going to be on Steam and the Microsoft Store for 10 bones. And finally, to round out today's main releases, Rocket Arena is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Rockets rule everything in Rocket Arena, an explosive 3v3 shooter where you're never out of the action. Master your hero's unique rockets and abilities to rule the arena and become a champion. Adapt your strategy with an ever-growing roster of diverse heroes with distinctive powers. Unearth new strategies and tactics based on your squad, explore a wide variety of dynamic maps, and discover the true depth of Rocket gameplay. So this game is going to be baking in a lot of the elements that we see in many of the free to play games that come out in 2020 and that have come out in 2019, 18, etc. Uh, you will have roster updates, you will have new maps, that style of situation. Uh, now when it comes to the gameplay, it seems to be more arena shooter than it is really cooperative experience like you would get in Overwatch or Battle Royale like you would expect from Fortnite or other games like it. Uh, so that's the kind of experience you'll be getting in Rocket Arena. I do want to mention this game is 30 bucks, so that's kind of a middle of the road price. It's not the full 60, it certainly is not free to play, but will players justify spending $30 on Rocket Arena? That is still yet to be seen. But if you want to give it a shot this week, it's coming out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Before we round out today's show, we have a couple of honorable mentions. First up, Death Stranding is coming out on PC, a game from Hideo Kojima Studio, Kojima Productions, and it is one of my favorite games of the entire generation, 
highly recommend giving Death Stranding a play if you have not done so already, or if you want to go back for the ultimate experience on the PC. Ooblets is coming out on Xbox One and PC, and to round out everything, Super Hot Mind Control Delete is coming out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC if you are into that slow mo action. But that rounds out this week's episode of The Drop. If you enjoyed this one, drop me a like down below and let me know what games caught your eye. Are you going to be playing Halo 3 on PC? How do you feel about Ghost of Tsushima? Or are you going to forego all of these hardcore serious games and you're in it for Paper Mario the Origami King? Would love to hear what you got to say. Uh, but until next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon and peace.